This one is a very relaxing music, okay, for my cleaning. Okay, just another one minute, then I start to just just uh, share a bit about side effect of uh, this vaccination, okay. So I'll be speaking in English. Alright. Alright, so this is my first FB live session, okay? Um hi Aida. Alright, so I think um when we talk about COVID nineteen vaccination, there's a uh, one spectrum of uh people, okay? Of course, there's those who want to jump queue, want to rush for vaccine, and there's another end who doesn't want any vaccine, or they try to tell other people not to take the vaccine. Okay, but today is not about whether you should take or you shouldn't take. I'm talking about the side effect. So a lot of times when I tell patient, uh, "Have you taken your vaccine?" They will be saying that, oh, "No, no, I'm, I'm very scared." Why oh, you're scared? Because scared of side effect. Okay, so. Actually, the side effect is what it is, okay? It's a side effect, side, just a pump in, it's like, it's side, it's like beside the point, it's not important, okay? So, actually, I want to share a bit about my personal and maybe what I heard about the side effect, okay? It's like, for me, the main thing is a lot of times, is the, a lot of people saying that the place where you jab, there will be pain. And this pain, some can be very severe. Uh, and usually the pain when you inject, Okay, when you inject in, there's no lasa, alright. But the next day, you feel the kick, alright. The kick meaning that your arms couldn't lift at all, alright. Couldn't lift at all, okay. Uh, one of my colleagues they said that oh, can only lift less than forty-five uh, degree, alright. And then uh, some very terrible will be like oh, the whole body like feel beaten up like that, okay feel beaten up so if you are the severe one then you feel like beaten up then maybe you need to take rest okay of course there are some some side effects that I think is maybe because of your personal like very anxious before the vaccine for instance uh, one of my staff the day before vaccine she couldn't sleep at all she couldn't sleep at all then when she go for vaccine then after vaccine she feel very light-headed all right so this light-headed sometimes maybe I'm asking her is it because you didn't sleep the whole night, then you go and take vaccine and then you feel uh, like oh relieved, then you feel very lightheaded, maybe, or maybe because it's the vaccine side effect. Alright? And there are some people who have uh, side effect like uh, the heart palpitation beat very fast. So after vaccination, if you feel a heart palpitation beat very fast, fast, maybe you need to see a doctor or maybe need to be uh, observed okay in a hospital, okay? But usually, there's not such a big uh, side effect. And then some of my staff, uh, they are lucky ones and they are unlucky ones. What I mean that lucky ones are those who get the vaccination, then they can go back and rest. And they are a bit unlucky ones, they have vaccine, then they need to uh, go back to their shift to work, okay? And somehow they were saying that hey, those who go back to work actually have uh, less side effect. I don't know how true it is. Uh. So what it means that after you have vaccinated, maybe you can rest for a while, but then you go back to your normal routine work. You don't just straight away uh, rest totally in your bed, then maybe you have more side effect, alright? And then, personally, I have very little side effect, okay? Uh, the first injection, I have some uh, arm pain, but I'm still okay. In the morning, I go for a walk. And then in my second, <laughs> second jab, it's like uh, evening, I took the jab around 3. Night time around 3 a.m. I need to go to hospital for an emergency. And then the next day, around afternoon, I have an emergency operation. So I completed the operation and I don't feel anything at all because uh, the arm pain is just very little. So it goes to show that if you really have work to do and you get yourself busy and I mean you don't totally rest, then maybe your side effect will be less. <laughs> maybe, maybe, okay, I don't know. It's a personal, I mean, it's a personal thing. Alright, so how to reduce this side effect? Actually, there's a lot of uh, ideas to reduce side effect. Okay, 
the main thing that I do is I just put I just I do two things okay first thing is um, before I go for injection the day before I make sure I have adequate rest adequate nutrition I have fruits vegetables uh, I mean balanced meal all right and then three hours before and after the vaccination you don't have any uh, you don't have any vigorous exercise you don't have any hot or very too cold bath all right and then uh, I did a special thing is like after injected I put a cool fever patch be, uh, on top and below just to reduce the 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 side effect of the arm the next day i'm fine i could lift up my hand well and it's like after injection everyone will be asking you doctor you okay ah? you okay ah? it's like you know i thought that you get a vaccine you got some major disease like that then the next morning i'll be like oh i lift up my hand it's like oh my hand is fine my hand is fine it's like the one day is a vaccination day the day after is like raise hand day I'll be raising hand the whole day the next day, all right? Okay, so this is my method of uh, reducing the side effect, okay? So it comes to another spectrum of people are saying that, hey, you have no side effect. Is it because the vaccine is not working for you or the vaccine is fake la, or something else? No, it's not true, okay? What I want to mean is like, when we have uh, immunity, immunity means that your body have a cells that want to target the infection okay it means that um, immunity we have two types one type is called innate immunity means it's the direct reaction another immunity is a uh, adaptive means they recognize for instance like let's say you you see this is a this is a let's say you see a drain okay you fall down to the drain and you got wet all right so if you got wet directly you must dry and then that is called innate immunity, direct response. So side effect is a direct response. And what is your adaptive immunity? Next time you see a drain, you don't, you don't step into the drain. You go over the drain or you avoid the drain. That is adaptive. Okay. So even if you have no side effect, you still have adaptive immunity, which is going to protect you from further infection. So basically, all the vaccines like Sinovac is the weakened virus, the others are the RNA, uh, all this is to create an adaptive immunity so that you, well, re the, the body will remember this is the virus, the harmful virus, and then it will not, it will prevent you from getting the infection and mainly is to prevent you from getting the severe infection. You still can get infection, but you have 100% protection against severe infection, okay? Yeah, it depends on the individual immunity, but most of us can have the immunity. And there's two types, innate, which is we all produce the direct side effect, and one is the adaptive, okay? So I have to answer uh, Dr. Chua's uh, Last time he uh, he asked us asked me to answer this question is like whether if you have no side effect does it mean that it works? Yes, it works. Okay, because we have an adaptive immunity that help to protect our body from future infection. Okay, all right. So now I'll just now I didn't see the question in the in the list. So now I'll go through one by one. Okay. Um, let's see, Stewart Kua was saying very Kua Chong, the only thing was BP a bit high after first jab. Yeah, I think a lot of th things that they were thinking that your BP could be high after the injection, but then Lam Wai have taken our BP before the injection. It shows that actually we are actually high before injection. Sometimes for us, we look very calm, very steady, but actually inside us, we feel very Kan Chong. And then I'll actually BP high before the injection. So for me, before my second injection, my BP was a bit high, but after injected, my BP come uh, normal a bit. All right, then okay. Uh, Chang Shi Ying was say that what I worry after inject the next day. Yes, the next day you have side effect because that is the innate immunity having the response. Okay, hi Lina Tio. Yep. So. Um, let me see 
Alright, so I've explained the three things I want to say today. First is the side effect. Second, what I do to reduce the side effect. And then third is, if you have no side effect, does it mean it doesn't work? No, it still works, okay? And, yep. Alright, so if you have any question, you can ask in the, the, the comments and I'll try to answer. I think just now, uh, one of the my patients have asked me, text me just now saying that whether can I answer about this uh, evil mectin that people have been spreading saying that it's a very wonder drug, okay? Alright, this evil mectin is actually a medication to kill parasite in the dog and the cats. It's a ubat, ubat uh, cacing unto kucing and anjing, okay? So they have shown that yes, it has managed to reduce the COVID, I mean severe COVID infection. But compared to vaccine, it's still not as effective. You can take vaccine and you can combine with this evermectin if you have the infection. But don't because of evermectin, you don't go for vaccination. Then that is wrong. Okay, and the evermectin trial is still on the way. So we don't know the final result. But the, so far, the preliminary result shows that vaccination is far more superior than evermectin. Evermectin is still a cat and dog medication for now. Alright, so don't go and bash people saying that uh, I want evermectin, all these things. Evermectin can be given uh, in those uh, poorer countries like uh, in uh, Africa because they can't vaccinate too fast, so even making they can be used. But still, the most efficient is the vaccine. Uh, okay, Chang Xing was asking, the, uh, can we take the, can we take any Panadol? Okay, Panadol. If you want to take, you don't take before the vaccination, or else you reduce the immunity. You can take the vaccination. You can take the Panadol if you have any fever, but uh, maybe after the vaccination. So the next day should be fine. But uh, it depends on your body, okay? But try not to take it too near to the vaccination. Yep. So, alright, so today live got 18 people, some come and some left. Um, alright, so, okay, Stuart have any question? Is it possible to do a pre evaluation before registration for vaccination? A more detailed evaluation of other than at the center? Uh, I think the, the best is the evaluation at the center unless you have a very complicated disease then usually you will see your specialist and you will issue a letter called Lamperan Satu which tells the people at the center whether you are safe to take the vaccine or not. Alright. Hi Zidat. This arrived? From where? <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. So uh, I need to stop now. Okay. Um, if you have any further question, you guys can, um, I mean, put in the comments and I'll start, I will try to answer you when I'm free later. Alright, Kamsia, very nice day to everyone. Register your vaccine, register now, okay?